Hello and welcome back to Online Pathshala. Today we are going to start a new series of lecture in mathematics and the topic for it is rational numbers. So we're going to learn in this is why do we require a new number system when we already had been familiar with other number systems like natural numbers. So let's revise what all other number systems are there. The first one is the natural numbers which we studied long back which starts from 1, 2, 3 and so on. Then comes up the whole numbers. In the whole numbers along with natural numbers we add 0 also. So 0 plus natural numbers become our whole number and the next one is when it comes to represent the negative values like a negative application like profit and loss so we say that there's a profit we say it's a profit of 150 if there's a loss we say a pro minus 150 the same way something if you have to represent in a right or a left we say that if you want to go from a particular place to the right direction, we say it is a positive. To the right, neg left direction, we say it's a negative. The same way something which we have to represent above sea level, we say it as positive. And the below sea level, we say it as negative. So, to represent opposite kinds of situations, we use a different number systems which we call integers. So the integers inclu includes both from 0 to the positive series that is 1, 2, 3 and to the negative series that is minus 1, minus 2 and so on. Now we also have learned something about fractions. Like, if you want to represent that a particular place is, say, 750 meters above a sea level, we can even represent it as 3 by 4 kilometers above the sea level. So when we talk about a fraction, let's say, a half of a chocolate, or in this example, a 3 by 4 kilometers. So we have the number which is positive in the numerator, it's a positive in the denominator, and the denominator is not equal to 0. So this we have, we have something called fractional numbers also. Is it possible to have something as below sea level and say 750 meters that is I'm giving an example like there could be a situation when we say that a particular place is 750 meters above sea level we represent it by 3 by 4 kilometers the same thing we can say that the same uh, a particular place is below sea level and we represent it by minus 750 meter and we say it is minus 3 by 4 kilometer. Now, when I talk about minus 3 by 4 kilometer, I can't say that minus 3 by 4 number is a fraction. Why? Because the fraction includes a positive numerator, a positive denominator, and it's not equal to 0. And here, I have a number which is minus 3 by 4. So it's a negative 3 by 4. So that means I cannot include it in the fractional numbers. And for the same, I have to have a new number system which can include these kinds of number. So that number system, we call it as rational numbers. Now let's go to the definition of what is a rational number. A rational number is a number 
in which the denominator and the numerator is represented by p by q where p can be a positive or a negative number q can be a positive or a negative number where q is not equal to 0. So, what is the rational number? A rational number is represented in the form of p by q where p is a positive or a negative number and q can be positive or a negative number. So, with this definition, let's see that can I say an integer to be a rational number? Now, an integer, let's say a minus 1 or plus 10 or 2, it can be represented as minus 1 by 1 or 10 by 1 or 2 by 1. Now, if I can represent this, my the numerator here is p, which is a negative number, q, which is a positive number. It satisfies. So, it can be included in a rational number. Here, 10. 10 is a positive number and 1. 1 again is a positive number. So, it satisfies the definition of rational number. So, it is included. So, I can say that integers are rational rational number. Now, how about fractions? Are fractions a rational number? Now, let's say how do we represent a fraction? Fractions we say 2 by 3, 1 by 2, where is represented in the form of p by q, where both p and q are positive numbers, q not equal to 0. So, here p and q both are positive numbers, p and q both positive numbers, q not equal to 0. So, fractions also satisfies the definition of rational number and this can be included into a rational number. So, a rational number is actually a superset which includes whole integers, includes fractions, includes natural numbers and includes whole number. Well, when I say integers, it actually include both natural numbers and whole numbers. So, in all, this is just to clarify in detail that natural numbers uh, as well as whole numbers, integers and fractions are rational numbers.